All right, so I am gonna show you how to paint lemon. I'm not even gonna worry about the welcome sign. I just painted mine black. You'll probably need two coats because usually miss spots. There's a few miss spots on there after one coat, so always do two coats. And when you're painting your welcome, you should do it with a, your smaller brush. And you don't really have to worry about the sides, so don't get too crazy about the sides. So I'm gonna put my welcome side, and then I'm just gonna show you how to paint the lemon. So we're gonna paint the lemon, and we're gonna sponge a little texture on it, just so it looks like a real lemon. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. So this is our example, beautiful. And then I have a lemon over here to paint, so I'm gonna move that up here. Then I'm gonna, we're gonna paint this lemon. So you are going to you need some yellow and some white. So with your sponge, sponge brush, you're just gonna put two nice coats of yellow on your lemon. And this yellow is kind of very, it's very vibrant. So as you're painting the yellow, I'm just gonna scoop on some white. And I want you to mix that white in as you're painting that yellow. So this is acrylic paint. It will stain your clothes if you get on it, get some on you. So just make sure you have like a smock on, your table's protected, you're protected. So I'm gonna put, this is my first coat. And do your edges as well. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. And then I'm gonna come back and do a second coat. All right, so I added that second coat. And now what I'm gonna go back is I'm gonna, don't even clean your brush, just take some paint out of your brush. So dab it on the paper towel. And I am just gonna put a teeny bit of white on my brush. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dab. So the skin of a lemon is like pitted, like other citruses. So you're just gonna use that sponge brush and you're gonna dab on top. While your second coat is still wet, you want to do this. So you're just going to dab just to get a little texture. And I'm going to do it through the whole lemon. And you're doing this while your coat is still dry. You're only gonna see it if you get really close to it. You see a little texture. And then I'm gonna put a good amount of white when I do the top, and I'm just gonna dab the top with white, more white, just so it gives it a little highlight. And this, this is just adding texture. The more texture something has, the more interesting it is. I'm gonna go back, put a little more white on my brush, put a little white on top. I'm gonna bring it close. You can kind of see the texture. You see like different colors in there. So I'm gonna let that dry. Move that over there. And then we are going to move on to our beautiful leaves. So the leaves fit right in there. So we are gonna paint them green, but you do not have a green. So we have to make a green. So to make a green, all you have to do, I'm gonna use it, my little lid to make it. I'm gonna scoop a, a healthy bit of yellow onto my cap. Take it off, wash and dry. and then put a tiny bit of blue in there. And you start off with a tiny blue, a tiny bit of blue because if you need to add more, it's always easier to add more than take some away. <laughs> but if you add too much blue, you could always put a little yellow in it, you could put a little white in it too. So I have a nice green. It's not quite grass green, it's a little mossier. So I'm just gonna paint that, oops, paint that all green. And again, you're gonna need two coats and you wanna go around the edges as well. Move that dude over there. So 
So I'm gonna let that hang out. Actually, my second coat, I am actually gonna make this just a teeny bit darker. So I'm gonna put a little more to make it almost like an army green, a light army green. Then I'm gonna do my second coat once this dries a little bit. And I like when it's not like, you could do it like one solid color, but I like when you see different color streaks in there. Just because gives it a little more dimension, gives it a little te texture. If you want, you can get really crazy. Put a little white on your brush. You can put a little white streaks in there. Like that white streaks. You could get a little crazy. And on the opposite side of the white streaks, you could put a little put a little blue on your brush. Not getting any blue on it. And brush some blue in there. And the reason I didn't give you give you green is when you mix colors, that's when you get the most depth of color. So you'll get a nicer green from mixing a green than using a prepackaged green. So you are going to let these two dry a little bit. Them up over there. Let it dry. Paint your background. Paint your welcome. And then you're going to put it all together with some glue. All right. Hope you had a good time. I hope your lemon looks delicious. Thanks.